everyone. Welcome back to my channel. You see me, I'm, I'm so chill today, apparently. I don't know why I'm sitting like this. But anyhow, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been missing for a little bit. Oh, it's been crazy. I'm not going to even bother getting into it. It's It's been... It's been a month. Like, I'm already telling people I'm over, not just January, but I'm kind of over 2015. I know that's so Debbie Downer of me, but you ever have one of those years that as soon as it starts, you're like, nope, I'm I'm done with it. <laughs> Anyhow, it's turned out to be one of those years. Um, feel free to ask me questions if y'all really, really want to know. Um, I'm even open to doing a Q&A video if y'all want to get to know me more and stuff. I'm up for anything pretty much, but I want to get back into filming my videos, so I'm really excited to start this first one after my little break, and I have something really, really exciting to show y'all. It is the new collection from Geek Chic Cosmetics, and how cute is this, and if you are an anime fan, you will recognize this immediately. It is inspired by Sailor Moon, the anime series. So cute. How cute is this. I mean, couldn't you just dye the cuteness? And can you tell I kind of got, like, I had to wear my pink cat sweater, you know. It just, I felt like it, it needed to be done together. So anyhow, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this collection. Alright, so this collection actually isn't out yet. It's going to be released February 1st at 12.01 a.m. PST time. So pretty soon today is the, well, it depends on when this uploads. It'll upload either the 30th or the 31st of January. So in a day or two, it's coming out soon. Be sure to follow Geek Chic Cosmetics on Facebook for more info. And here is what they have to say about the Moon Prism Power Makeup Collection. Fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight, a standard day for a magical girl. Somewhere in between all that, you have to fit in video games, comics, studying, not, and you have to look good doing it. Exhausting, right? Moon Prism Power Makeup is inspired by the classic watercolor manga art from the 90s and are formulated to be versatile and super wearable. This collection launches on February 1st at 12.01 a.m. PST. So thank you so much for Geek Chic Cosmetics for sending me this collection so I could share it with my viewers and my readers. And that way y'all could get a heads up because what, what Geek Chic Cosmetics does is they release their full collection with a limited edition tin, which is what this tin is. And then the colors are inside in jars. Now, the tins are limited edition because they sell out fast. Now, they will still continue to have the individual shades, just not the tin. So they do sell up fairly quick depending on the collection and I have a feeling that this gorgeous gorgeous collection is going to go like that. So if you want to get the limited edition tin with it, I suggest check them out quick, get online, you know, friend them on Facebook that way you can follow along and stay up to date. So anyhow, but like I said, if you miss the February 1st launch date, you can still get the individual colors, so never fear. Now I have done one review of Geek Chic Cosmetics before. I reviewed their um, Guardians of the Galaxy inspired collection, which such a cute, oh, I, why don't I have it with me? I should have held it up here so you can see it. Ugh, silly me. Anyhow, I'll put a link in the description box down below if you want to check out that review and there's also a makeup tutorial inspired by that collection as well so be sure to check that out but for now let me go ahead and get into the um, colors and my review on each one all right so first of all like I showed you the tin is too adorable on the inside you've got the individual uh, shadows which there's 12 total and it has the name on each one and these are sifted jars and the size oh, let me see what size are they one gram net weight is one gram um and i really really love how the back of the tin shows you all the colors and it has this super cute photo right there this luna and then each color it shows you the name which i think is really really awesome as well so let's go ahead and get into each shade all right first we have the shade rainbow moon heartache and here's the description. Rainbow Moon Heartache is a feminine, ethereal, soft gold shadow with a shiny golden sheen. It's jam-packed with soft blue and soft red sparkle that dances in the sunlight. This shadow is incredibly versatile, suitable as a highlight color, transition, or blending color, and even as a shimmery cheek highlight. 
Rainbow Moon Heartache is also lip safe and would be beautiful patted onto a lipstick or mixed into some clear lip gloss. And just to let you know, each swatch is done over Geek Chic Cosmetics Power Up Primer, which I am positively obsessed over now. It is the most amazing primer I have used to date, so you want to go ahead and check this out, even if you don't get this collection, because this is worth it. Alright, so I absolutely just love this shade. I mean, I think it is positively gorgeous. It has a very sheer but gorgeous, gorgeous golden sheen, and the sparkle is absolutely lovely. Um, some people might say it's a little too sparkly to go on the brow bone. I really, really like it. Um, just depends on how much you pack onto the lid. If you kind of use more of a looser packed, not so not as dense brush to apply it onto the brow bone, then it won't be quite as sparkly because it won't pick up as much as, of the glitter. And you could even not put, you know, a, a heavy duty primer on your brow bone. That way it doesn't set as strongly and so it'll be more of a wash of a sheen instead of, you know, the full color. So absolutely love it. I think it's a really, really nice start to this collection. Kitty. <laughs> Seriously though, I'm trying to film. I mean, really? What? See what I have to deal with on a constant basis? Alright, next up we have the shade Space Turbulence, which is a lively pastel lemon satin shadow that is dripping with iridescent rainbow shimmer and soft blue sparkle. It reminds us of lemon shaved ice, a wonderful shadow for spring. It would be a perfect accent to a sunrise themed look. Space Turbulence is lip safe and would make a funky sunny lippy if mixed with some clear lip gloss. Alright, so this color I think is just such a fun little pop, which of course, you know, you had to have a, you know, yellow sort of themed shadow in this collection. Um, the sparkle is absolutely stunning. I mean, it, it's such a bright, beautiful, vibrant color, and I really like how well it blends out. It's maybe a teensy, teensy bit patchy over some primer, but I mean, it's really not, not all that bad. Um, I'm hoping you'll be able to see this. Let me see. How well can you see this? Well enough, yeah. I mean, it's it's not that bad. Yellows are notoriously kind of tricky to, you know, use as an eyeshadow as far as being completely smooth. But I really, really love, love, love this shade. And, um, you know, by the way, the look that I'm wearing today is wearing, uh, sorry, using the shadows from this collection. And if you'd like, you can follow me on Instagram. I plan to be kind of doing a few looks with these shadows and just post them on Instagram, just, you know, daily picture sort of thing. So be sure to follow me on there if you want to see the rest of these shades used um, for some looks that I do. Next we have Crescent Beam Shower, which is a punchy creamsicle orange with a soft golden sheen and little glints of bright orange glitter and a tiny pinch of light blue sparkle. A great color for a pastel spring sunrise look. Crescent Beam Shower is also lip safe and would be a fun pastel orange lippy if mixed with some clear gloss. Uh, this shade is phenomenal. This is definitely one of my favorites of the collection. It's such a bright and smooth. It goes on so well. There's no patchiness at all. It's just, a, a, and the sparkle is gorgeous. I mean, it looks like a really, really just yummy shade. And I'm really irritated because it, it just does not come across in the, um, the swatch video in my hand true to color because it is just the perfect yummy creamsicle shade. I mean, I look at it and I'm just like, mmm, that must taste good. Although, don't, don't taste your, you know, loose pigments, people, obviously. But, you know, it's so amazing. I, let me see if I can kind of, let me see if maybe I can show you on here. Or maybe now you can see it. Does that show up better? No, it's such a hard color. To capture, I mean, it's really just, uh, I can't, I can't even capture the beauty of this color. I mean, it looks more yellow. Then again, I look kind of more yellow and green in this. Things are not as yellow and green as they seem. But, oh, it's such an amazing, amazing shade. I really, uh, maybe I'll see if I can, like, take a picture of it and put it on Instagram or 
I don't know. <laughs> it makes me so sad that you can't see what it really looks I like. I really, really think this shade is going to be uh, absolutely amazing for spring and for summer. All right, next we have the shade Mars Snake Fire, which is a soft red satin shadow with a soft fiery red to orange color shifting sheen, sprinkled with holographic purple and lavender sparkles. A perfect shadow for a spring or summer sunset themed look. Mars Snake Fire is lip safe and would make great punchy red lip if you mix with a little clear lip gloss. This shadow is really, really pretty, a little patchy. But, I mean, wow, the crazy purple sparkle. I mean, the color is amazing. The color itself, um, I wasn't fond of the formula of the color, but when you mix in that purple sparkle, it just completely, completely changes the equation for me. I mean, it, it makes this just shadow oomph to the next level. I mean, you really can't see it here, but I'll bring up the close-up of the sparkle once again. I mean, do you see that purple just like, pow, popping you in the eye? I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you definitely need a good primer to make this, you know, sparkle really, really stand out. I'd say applying this wet, you know, would probably be your best bet. Um, but, I mean, that purple sparkle just makes this shadow amazing, worth it regardless. Next up, we have the shadow Twinkle Yell which is the perfect candy floss pink with a slight orange undertone with a punch of golden sparkle. Perfect for spring and summer looks. Can be used on the cheeks as well for a perfect just pinched pink flush with a sunny shimmer. Twinkle Yell is also lip safe and would be a super pretty pink lippy if mixed with a little clear lip gloss. This shadow, woo, woo, <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorites. I mean, it's, it's insanely gorgeous. This is one of the best formulas of the 12 shadows. So smooth and satiny, and the sparkle is perfectly dispersed. It's just, it's satiny smooth, and it's amazing, and it's gorgeous. This is definitely, I mean, it, it's a little bit like, um, the colors are similar to Mars Snake Fire, but I much prefer this one, especially because of the sparkle in it. The sparkle is phenomenal. If you were to pick, like, three out of this collection that are must-haves, I would definitely recommend Twinkle Yell. I mean, it's it's phenomenal, it's beautiful, it's just that beautiful, perfect pop of color. It's really great for spring going into summer, so definitely a must-have in my book. Next up is the shade Queen of Darkness, which is a soft Marsala red base shadow with a subtle green shift and a good-sized pinch of bright green sparkles. A unique twist on 2015's color of the year, this shadow would be great as the crease color in a sunset themed eye look for summer. Queen of Darkness is also lip safe and would make for a great twist on the wine colored lippy if mixed with a clear gloss. Queen of Darkness contains metal alloy, so be sure to spot test if you have any sort of metal sensitivity. This is another really, really, really important must have of this collection, especially for me. Um, well, maybe I'm just kind of drawn to, you know, the Queen of Darkness. Lord knows I love my villains and stuff. But this shade, um, it's funny because they said, you know, put it in the crease for, a, you know, nice transition and stuff. And that's exactly what I did with this look. Um, it really does make the perfect transition shade. If you're looking for the transition shade, sort of more of like the base shade in this whole collection that can go with pretty much everything, I would definitely recommend Queen of Darkness. And hey, it is a fun little twist on 2015's Color of the Year Marsala. So I really, really think, like I said, if you were to pick three out of this collection, this would be a must-have, even though it's not that pop of color. But, you know, it's, why do I have cats all the time? Come here. Come here. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Have your little moment of fame. Okay, now. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. 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 Anyhow, I would definitely recommend this shadow as a must from this collection. <laughs> Next we have Silence Glaive Surprise, which is a soft dove gray toned purple satin shadow. We like to call it Gurple, with a soft violet sheen. It has just the right amount of color shifting blue to purple shimmer, soft lilac shimmer, and purple sparkles throughout. It is a wonderful color to use in a gray or purple smoky eye look. Silence Glove Surprise is lip safe and would make a beautiful pastel purple lippy when mixed with a little clear gloss. This shade is really, really lovely. 
Um, one thing that I noticed about it is the sheen kind of sits a little bit higher, if that makes sense. Um, it, the darker undertone is very, very solid though, and not at all patchy. But if you kind of, you know, turn it in the light, it just seemed like the, the sheen just kind of sits up higher when swatched, if that makes sense. You might be able to see what I'm talking about in the actual photo of the swatch. Um, the subtle, the shimmer is very, very subtle but it's really really lovely and absolutely gorgeous for spring i think this makes a perfect perfect um spring shade just that that beautiful pastel lilac you know perfect for spring easter just gorgeous 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 and it's really actually a very 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 subtle kind of um cool toned glow if you blend it out really really well which i absolutely adore you have to try it if you get this shadow i really really love um, you know the contrast with it with some of the other you know pops of color all right next we have the shade mercury aqua mist and as its name implies a misty pale blue shadow with a subtle periwinkle sheen it has a good dose of blue to purple color shifting shimmer aqua shimmer and bright blue sparkles it is a very versatile blue that would work for highlighting the inner V of the eye or as an all over lid wash. Mercury Aqua Mist is not lip safe. Okay, to be f honest, I actually have on my notes here just capitalized the word what with an exclamation point because really that's how I feel about this. It is my absolute favorite of this collection. Uh, it, it's amazing it's actually the color that i have featured in my eye look today that really really bright blue that you see there that is this shade i think this one is crazy gorgeous and because it has you know those lavender sparkles in it you can pull it more of a lavender tone blue if you were to use say like a purple or a lavender base underneath and then apply this on top or if you want to stick to the blue apply a white base underneath or just you know a clear base underneath and it will look more of a baby blue um absolutely stunning I mean it's it's gorgeous it's magical it's looking to me it's got the perfect amount of sparkle it's the one that just really popped out of this collection to me when I swatched them so absolute must-have you need this shadow in your life I know it's kind of scary to have a blue shadow but if you want a blue shadow, this is the blue shadow to have. The next shade is Flower Hurricane, which is a mid-tone soft green with a fresh minty sheen, popping with glints of hot pink rose and soft pink shimmer. Makes for a great transition or blending color for a green spring look with a little pop of pink. Flower Hurricane is not lip safe. I love the contrast between the green shadow and the pink shimmer. Very, very fresh looking and really, really great for the upcoming seasons. I think it's it's rare that I find a green shadow that really, really just kind of pops out to me and screams, I'm different, wear me, you're going to love me. <laughs> I mean, most green shadows that I find are more olive toned, but this one, I just love that it's so, you know... And it's not just a straight up mint, it's got a twist on it. It's got that pink shimmer in it that just kind of gives it that special little oomph. And the, I think just the the shimmer, you know, throughout the whole thing is gorgeous. It's got a really, really lovely sheen. And it's perfect for that that gorgeous fresh pop, that sort of youthful pop, you know, that, that really kind of makes, you know, a statement without being too, too crazy in my opinion. But beautiful, beautiful green shadow. Really excited that this was part of the collection. Next we have Submarine Reflection, which is a gorgeous ocean blue teal satin shadow with a subtle golden green sheen. It sparkles with pops of rich blue to purple color shifting sparkle, sea glass green shimmer, and rich sapphire sparkle. It's a perfect shadow for a deep teal look used over the main area of the eyelid, or even used wet as an eyeliner for a wicked teal winged cat eye. Submarine Reflection is not lip safe. Another shadow that just kind of called my name in this collection. The glitter makes it feel a little rough. So if you have sensitive eyes, you know, this may bother you. But the color is absolutely phenomenal. It, it looks more blue um, in the jar, but it, it does actually pull more of a teal when swatched. I mean, in the jar, it, to me, it kind of looks like, like a dark dove gray blue. But it really is very, very teal once it's swatched out. So, um... 
really happy to see a really, really great blue in this collection. I, I really love how, you know, you've got your more subtle tones that, you know, still have those pastels in it, and all of a sudden you'll get like a pop, you know, a stronger pop of color. And they can be, you know, used together really, really well or just gorgeous by themselves. And like I said, this can be used as a really beautiful eyeliner if you apply wet. So I really, really think that the colors selected in this collection were um, selected, you know, with great care and there's a great range in all of them. So really happy to see a teal in here because as y'all know, teal is one of my favorite colors. Next we have Kronos Typhoon, which is a burnished silver based satin shadow with a very strong green shift with pops of crimson shimmer and deep rose to purple shifting shimmer. Perfect for a green toned smoky eye. Kronos Typhoon is also lip safe so you can mix it with some clear gloss for a unique and gothic lip. Alright, so if, you're, if you've been looking at this collection and you're thinking, these are way too out of my comfort zone. These are way too crazy. They're way too pastel. They're way too bright. This shadow you will probably love out of all of them. Um, it looks gray in the jar, but it definitely has that you know strong green shift, like they said, um, especially when swatched. You can really, really see it. And it's very, very satin looking when swatched as well, which I absolutely love. Um, I did a look with this the other day, and it kind of turned out to be a um, sort of soft green sheened almost olive look. Let me, I can show you a picture, but the photo is not going to be very good because um, I just took it in the car. But this is the look that I did, and I absolutely loved it. And I got some compliments on what was that, you know, beautiful green shade because it, it was subtle, but also, you know, popped off the eye as well. So like I said, if you're looking for a shade that's a little more subtle in this collection, you know, not quite as pastel or not quite as bright, then you'd probably absolutely love Kronos Typhoon. I think it's very unique, very gorgeous, and definitely a really great addition to round out this collection. And the last shadow, which is probably my ultimate favorite of the collection, is Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber, which is a velvety matte black base shadow that is jam-packed with oodles of red micro glimmer, lavender to blue color shifting shimmer, teal to lavender to blue color shifting shimmer, black hollow sparkle, deep blue to magenta color shifting sparkle, and silver hollow micro shimmer. It is the most amazing eyeliner when used wet for a sparkly thick cat eye winged liner. Also perfect for a super shimmery smoky eye. Tuxedo La Smoking Bomber is not lip safe. Since it is a glitter bomb of an eyeshadow, it is prone to some fallout and works best with a sticky primer. I, I mean, seriously, the only thing that I wrote down <laughs> on my notes for this one was just OMG, just because, I mean, I think it kind of speaks for itself in the swatches. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, this doesn't even do it justice, does it? I mean, you're seeing it here and you're like, that's not what I just saw a second ago. I mean, it is crazy, crazy. Let me see if you can see it in the cap. No? Not really. We'll just have to go with the swatches and stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? it? It really is a sparkle bomb. It's absolutely insane. This is another shadow that I featured in this look. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. It's on the outer third of my eye, but during the tutorial, you can really, really see it up close. Um, but it's phenomenal. It's beautiful smoked out. You know, if, if, you, if you blend it out, the sparkle doesn't show up quite as much. It just looks like a really soft, smoked out, dark, you know, gray, gray to black, you know, uh, gray tone black. Um, but it's it's absolutely stunning when you put it over really really good primer that makes that sparkle like really pop out at you and i love how it just seriously sticks out from this collection like i said this this is a really really well rounded collection in my opinion i mean i think you've got everything from your brow bone highlight to you know cool tones more warm tones you've got pastels you've got a darker shade you've got glitter I mean, you've got pretty much everything except for maybe matte. I mean, you do have your satins in here, but they do have shimmer. But you do have a range from really, really subtle shimmer to, you know, boo, you know, <laughs> glitter bomb in your face. So I really, really enjoyed um, trying out this collection. I'm really excited that, uh, you know, I was able to try it out before the launch so I could let all of you know about getting the limited edition tin, which I think 
is absolutely fantastic. Set is $67.99. This includes the tin, the 12 shadows, a limited edition custom fan art sticker featuring the character Luna from the show done by the artist Katie B. Um, the sticker is only available with the Moon Prism Power Makeup Limited Edition tin. So that's it for my review on this tin. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, be sure to check out the description box below if you want to go to Geek Chic Cosmetics website to check them out. They have other collections that you can purchase just without the limited edition tins from all sorts of wonderful geekdom and nerdery and all the you know fabulous goodness. Like I said, I did a review and tutorial on the Guardians of the Galaxy collection. I also have the BBC Sherlock show inspired um, collection, just not with the tin, which I haven't reviewed. It's been out forever, but um, I think I want to do a review and a look on that fairly soon because um, someone did ask me to do that on my last video. So I think that's it. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. Uh, if you wanted to check out the tutorial, be sure to check out the description box below. That should be uploading soon. But for now, everyone, happy makeuping. I'll talk to you all very soon. Mwah. Bye.